Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to replace the hard drive in a 20-inch iMac G5 without an iSight camera. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the iMac, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to lay the iMac face down with the foot facing towards you. On the bottom, loosen these three Phillips screws as far as they will go. They're captive screws, so they won't come out all the way. Then, lift the foot of the iMac upwards to clear the back, then slide the back up and away from the iMac. The hard drive is located here. To remove the drive, we first need to remove these three Phillips screws. Once the screws have been removed, lift the rear of the drive slightly until you can slide the heat sensor cable out of its connector. You can then detach the power and data connectors and remove the drive from the iMac. Remove these four Torx T10 screws to detach the mounting brackets from the drive. You can now set the original drive aside. Find the SATA connectors on the new drive and attach the bracket without the temperature sensor on the opposite side. Then, attach the bracket with the sensor on the side closest to the SATA connectors. The drive is now ready to install. First, connect the power and data cables from the iMac to the drive. Then slide the connector on the sensor cable into the socket on the sensor itself. You can now lay the hard drive back into the bay and secure it with the three Phillips screws you removed earlier. You can now set the top cover into place. Set the top edge so that the tabs on the case slide into the slots in the cover. You'll know you have it set right if you can feel a small lip along the top edge when they're together. Set the cover down all the way, then tighten the three Phillips screws to secure it in place. You can now set your iMac upright plug it in, and turn it on.